Fergal, it's lovely to meet you. Pleasure uh, to meet you, Owen. Congratulations on the fact that you're the first Irishman to direct uh, a fully featured uh, animated film for a major studio in the world, in the history of cinema. <laughs> that's a, that's Thank pretty you. spectacular. Thank you. Uh, yeah. How'd you get the job? <laughs> <laughs> it was... Uh, it was a long and grueling process. Uh, no, it was. Um, I, I I worked uh, in you know animation and live action film um, for years, doing um, storyboards and concept art. And at the beginning, I started as an animator. And and I got a call from John Cohn, who's the producer of the Angry Birds movie, and he had me meet uh, Clay Cadis, who's who's my partner in in, in the in the project, and. Uh, you know, and, and sort of we, we took it from there. Co-directing the film, you could probably give us an insight at why are the birds just so goddamn angry all the time? <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd have to watch the movie for that. But um, uh, you find out, you find out why the, why the, the birds are, are angry. And it, and it begins, of course, with um, the red bird, who's played by Jason Sudeikis. And he is the only angry bird, uh, or the angriest bird on Bird Island. And um, which is a very happy uh, paradise. It's sort of a, a paradise island. Hey, Red, how are you? Oh, I'm horrible. Mr. Red, there seems to be a recurring issue here. Anger. Am I a passionate bird? Oh. Yes, but why does it matter that we're not the same? <laughs> <laughs> Anger might be contagious. He started it. There's a brilliant voice cast in the film between Jason Sudeikis, Bill Hader, Peter Dinklage, uh, Danny McBride there as well. Um, did you have much influence over what sort of talent you had access to for those roles? And how was it working with all those uh, amazing actors and actresses as well? Uh, we were so lucky to have, you know, the comedy cast that we do. I mean, I can't think of a, a better comedy cast in recent years, it was kind of extraordinary, and we got all of our first picks. So uh, that's rare, you know. Working with the cast is probably a little bit of a Sophie's Choice question, but personally, did you have any? Who made you laugh the most? Because as you said, they have an amazing comedy background between Saturday Night Live and the other projects that they work on. Was there one particular person who just just got you every single time? Uh, you know. I love Bill Hader, and I—I I mean, I love them all. They were all brilliant. Jason is a genius. Uh, uh, Josh uh, stays in character and will just make you giggle over and over. It's just—it's—it's it's hard to be on the button sometimes because you're laughing so hard. You know, the brilliant thing about working with comedians is, it's. They're like ducks to water to this stuff. They—they they have no inhibition. They uh, attack the material. Uh, uh, and they're relentless about finding what's funny. Are you ever in the middle of another interview or another scenario where you hear a voice and you think to yourself, yes, that interviewer that I'm talking to right now, you have a eureka moment, you're like, I want them to be in the next film. Uh, as part of the work. <laughs> Just hypothetically Well, you know, speaking, that Derry lilt uh, uh, has me going. <laughs> that could work. We could see <laughs> that in the thinking, sequel. Has me thinking, you know? We could see a Derry person <laughs> in the sequel, definitely. If you were making an Angry Birds movie and it had an Irish character in it and it was based on an Irish person, what person, uh, Irish person, would you have in mind for being particularly angry, <laughs> or who who might inspire you? <laughs> That's a really good question. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> That's a good question. I think I'm going to keep that one. I just need myself. a good answer. For you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be biased, so you know. Apart from Angry Birds, what would you be? personally most proud of on your CV? Because looking back at the amazing uh, projects that you've been a part of, I'm going to pick Space Jam, personally, for me. Because that, that was one of your first ones, wasn't it? Was, it was, yeah. And yeah. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I love yeah, those two Yeah, you love those two movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Space Jam was uh, was brilliant because uh, it seems like ancient history now, doesn't it? But, but um, just... Uh, uh, seeing Michael Jordan, they, they built a practice court for him on the, on the, on the set just so he could, uh, uh, and he brought boards in from Chicago and put them down just so he could practice and keep his game up. Um, and all his, Barkley and all the rest of them came in and they would practice every day. And you would get to sit there and like, sort of like draw these guys like just having fun and practicing on the court, you know, and, and, and um, that was kind of a unique, 
unique and unique thing at the time. And for me, it was it was brilliant because uh, I'd always wanted to draw the uh, the classic Looney Tunes characters, and and they're a unique sort of they have a unique style and a, u a unique way of moving, and sort of the timing is 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 you know. Uh, very unique to their personalities, and sort of learning that, learning the craft of that was was brilliant, you know. So, yeah, that and f my favorite, I think, is the Iron Giant. You know, that's the one that's closest to me. It was sort of a, uh, it was sort of an event horizon for me in terms of, you know, um, learning about how to do this and sort of, you know, being watching Brad and how he sort of approached the storytelling and. And, um, and just the material. Well, listen, it's an absolute pleasure to meet you. The best luck with uh, everything in the future and the Angry Birds movie. Thank you very much. Hurry, something's coming! Greetings, I am a pig. What's a pig? Show them how we do it. How you doing? Is that what I think it is? Excuse me. Those are fragile, right? Not yours. You are making our guests feel unwelcome. And you're not asking basic questions. Well, this just got awkward. Doesn't anyone see what's going on here? <laughs> the whole world is in danger, and it's up to us to stop them. Fire! Real big! Oh my god.